Coming up after a two year hiatus due to COVID, the Perry County Fair is back despite the heat. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News at 11. Good evening, I'm Steve Huntsley. Today, a high temperature record set in 1957 in London was broken. It's the fourth day in a row heat records have fallen, but will tomorrow make five? Meteorologist Evan Hatter has more on some relief in sight. Evan? Well, Steve, with any luck, we may be able to break the streak after today because we do have a change in the pattern coming our way as we head into tomorrow. But so far today, it has been a very hot day around the mountains. Even this evening, we're still dealing with the mugginess. I-64 at Moorhead. It's all quiet, but it's very, very muggy. There's our record-breaking spot, at least one of them. London Corbin Airport still at this hour sitting at 83 degrees. Here's where we topped out around the mountains today. 95 was a popular number. Hazard, Jackson, and London. 95 in Monticello as well. 96 in Middlesbrough. That was, by the way, a record at Jackson and London. Jackson's record of 91 set back just six years ago. But London's record, as Steve said, was broken by two degrees, originally set back in 1957. Temperatures remain in the upper 50, or excuse me, upper 70s, low to mid 80s. It's 85 in Prestonsburg right now, still feels like 91 there. And in Somerset, you got to go well to our east to run into any storms that may cool us off. I think we're in good shape most for the most part. Now, a few storms can't be ruled out overnight, but for the most part, we'll just stay very muggy mid 70s overnight. We've got some very nice changes, though, on the way as we head into our Father's Day and Juneteenth weekend. The details on that coming up in just a few minutes. Steve? All right, Evan, thank you very much. Now to a developing story we've been following tonight. Police say two people are dead and one person is injured following a shooting at a church tonight in Alabama. It happened at St. Stephen's Episcopal Church in a suburb of Birmingham. Two others were injured. Their conditions are unknown. Vestavia Hills police say the suspected shooter is in custody. The church's website says there was an event there this evening. Back here in Eastern Kentucky, a woman trusted to care for and protect kids is arrested on a number of child sex crimes. April Bradford is a now suspended assistant principal at South Floyd Elementary School. Investigators say her arrest comes decades after the alleged crimes involving the sexual assault of minors, first dating back more than two decades ago. The charges are related to claims made by two victims who were minors between 1997 and 2007 at the time the alleged crimes occurred. State police say at this time they are not aware of any other victims. In a statement, Floyd County School Superintendent Anna Shepard says Bradford has been suspended. She went on to say during the suspension, the administrator was instructed to not enter the grounds of any district property. Floyd County Schools policy prohibits us from talking about personnel matters until final action is taken. Bradford was taken to the Floyd County Detention Center, but is out on bond tonight. New at 11, Attorney General Daniel Cameron says former President Donald Trump is endorsing him in next year's governor's race. He released a statement tonight saying he was honored and humbled to receive Trump's endorsement. Cameron is one of several Republicans who are hoping to prevent Governor Andy Bashir from being reelected. Cameron also claims a new poll shows him more than 30 points ahead of his closest competitor in the primary. No reaction yet for many of the other candidates. Cooling centers have opened this week in eastern Kentucky. With the dangerous heat scorching the area, officials are trying to help folks stay cool. Knott County Judge Executive Jeff Dobson says opening facilities like the Sportsplex just made sense. We felt that this was a necessity to go ahead and open these up to uh, offer people to come out to, to let the kids play what time they're here. We got plenty of fresh cold water. Uh, Temperatures are expected to fall somewhat this weekend, as we've been saying, before the dangerous heat returns again next week. Amid several days of high temperatures and with summer still on the way, one Lexington group is reminding parents about the importance of not leaving a child in a hot car. 
Sherry Hanan coordinates Safe Kids Fayette County and says leaving a child in a car on a hot day is often just an honest mistake, but it can quickly become a dangerous one too. Children can succumb to um, hyperthermia very quickly, and the inside of a car it can be, you know, very high extreme temperatures, and children cannot regulate their, their body temperatures like an adult does. Hanan says this can also occur when it's in the 70s because the inside temperature of a car increases rapidly. Folks throughout the Commonwealth are trying to beat this heat wave with highs in the 90s. The cities of Corbin and Paintsville have the fire departments come out to help keep kids cool. Both cities' public pools are currently closed, so folks were relieved to have somewhere to have some summer fun. It's a great day to have it, I can tell you that, and we're going to try to do two of these a month and, and maybe a few more if we can do that. The Corbin Fire Department is hosting another event such as this one on June 23rd from 2 till 3 p.m. Day one of the Perry County Fair is in the books after offering Eastern Kentuckians a party in the park. WIMT Zach Hawk has more on what's going on at the fair the next couple of days. He's getting up, he's getting over. Unique attractions are on display at the Perry County Fair this year, including Ex Pogo, best known from NBA halftime shows. I went all the way to Oregon to do the Blazers halftime show, and then we went from Oregon to Sacramento, Cali, to go uh, do the Kings halftime. And eventually to Hazard, Kentucky, for the sixth ever Perry County Fair, back for the first time in two years, exciting Judge Executive Scott Alexander, who helps plan the event. We started the fair because we wanted to give uh, kids of Appalachia, East Kentucky, and Perry County experiences that sometimes they may not get. So. We went out and got venues that hadn't been here before. Gates opened at 4 p.m. amid record-breaking temperatures and crippling humidity, making the free access to the pool one of the most popular attractions, followed closely by an Aussie Kingdom exhibit. It's an educational program all about Australia and the animals of Australia, and we bring several different species of birds, reptiles, and kangaroos. These animals join a petting zoo that might look a little more familiar and a range of more common attractions, vendors, and live music, all accessible by a trackless train. You know a lot of our people travel to Lexington, travel to Gatlinburg and stuff, so we want to give opportunities for people to keep their dollars here and have great family fun entertainment. The pool, mist stations, and free water are all available to people to help stay cool in the blistering heat. In Perry County, Zach Hawk, WYMT Mountain News. And fortunately, it is going to get a little cooler. Parking is available at Perry Central High School, and a shuttle can bring you up to the attractions. The fair continues Friday from 4 p.m. till 10 p.m. and Saturday from noon until 10 p.m. Live music both nights. A very special guest stopped by our station in Hazard yesterday. Louisa native and American Idol winner Noah Thompson is my guest on Monday night's Issues and Answers. We talked about his time on American Idol, the highs and the lows. He says he really never believed he could win it, but others did. Arthur was always so confident in me, and all them boys back home were. They, they were always so, um, they truly just believed in me and told me that I could do it. And he certainly did. Noah recently returned from CMA Fest in Nashville. He says he cannot wait to get back there so he can do what he loves. He tells us he plans to write more original songs. June is Men's Health Month, a month where health care workers are going the extra mile to encourage men to get their annual wellness checks. The checks can consist of life-saving tests that can diagnose you with an illness or disease before you even feel sick giving you a greater chance at beating it. If you love a man, encourage him to do that. If you are a man, I encourage you to do that. Come in and see us. Men are less likely to seek treatment or medical help when needed, but especially when they are healthy. But healthcare workers say sometimes they just need a little boost. Today was the second annual blessing of the Riggs at CHI St. Joseph in London. A blessing of the rigs was created to show appreciation of EMS first responders and police by bringing them food, drinks, and having a priest pray over them. It's an annual event that we're going to start doing just to show the first responders how much we appreciate them and part of our human kindness campaign for the facility and the market. 
The idea was originally created last year when the pandemic was still booming to show appreciation for first responders, but they wanted to continue to thank them for their service every year. Coming up on Mountain News at 11, six months later, the stars from destructive tornadoes are still fresh in parts of western Kentucky. But first, more hot weather is on the way tomorrow before some storms along the front arrive to cool us down. The much nicer weekend forecast is coming up next. Waking up in the morning with a sore jaw, headaches, maybe even ringing in your ears, all because you're grinding and clenching your teeth at night? 